I've had many questions since coming to this truth. I didn't just start learning about the Most High. I've just awakened to who I am in the scriptures. I taught Bible study in the Pentecostal church for years, so I am acquainted with scripture. In August, we, my wife and I, started listening to brethren who appeared from first glance to be anointed of the Most High. The brothers were well-spoken, captivating in speech, and soon we found ourselves viewing the many videos of their different teachings. One thing I noticed and which bothered me from the beginning, though, and that was that at times the brothers covered their heads while teaching. I didn't know what to think at first because I knew Paul told the church at Corinth that if a man covered his head while teaching or, publicly, or public speaking, he disarmed his head. Nevertheless, I logged on to their Friday and Sabbath classes and eventually joined their online Hebrew Academy. Over time, I watched as different brethren would question them concerning their heads being covered, and they would claim that their heads were not covered because their crown is exposed, and then they would dismiss the question quickly. After four months of not getting my question answered, I contacted these brethren and, and I unloaded four months of being ignored and frustration on them in an email. I again questioned why they covered their heads because this was becoming a big problem for me. I couldn't understand how men who are supposedly so spiritual and so, and so anointed by the Most High to break down the mysteries of the word could be so obsequious when it came to obeying something as simple as not covering their heads, period. I showed these brethren from a biological and an anatomical standpoint that the crown is a part of the head, being the top. I proved where the crown is not considered different from the rest of the skull or the head. Okay, so here's a certain, uh, the skull structure. We have the coronal suture, which is the top of the head between the frontal and parietal cranial bones. You have the frontal tuberosity, which is the forehead. You have the lambdoid suture, which is the back of the head. You have the squamosal suture, which is the side of the head between the parietal and temporal bones. And you have the temporal bone, which is the side of the head above the ear. I guess that the crown would be situated in the coronal suture area. Okay, but I don't find where the parts of the head are differentiated anatomically. The head is the head, the skull is the skull. All the parts make up one whole entity. All right? So, in response to that, the brothers answer saying that they've answered this question on many occasions. That they wear the, the tiaras or the kerchiefs or, or the, the, the head things because the priests did in the Old Testament, but they do not cover their heads like the priests of old did. They are well aware of the head covering scriptures and they are careful not to cover their crown. So in response to the condescending and, dis and dismissive attitude, I went and I researched why the priests covered their heads. And this is what I found. The high priests wore a head covering when they were performing sacrifices for the sins of the people. Exodus 28 and 38 says, And it shall be upon Aaron's forehead that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things, which the children of Israel shall hollow in all their gifts. And it shall be always upon his forehead that they may be accepted before the Lord. So the turban was worn by the high priest to bear the burden and accept the sins of Israel when they sacrificed the sin offering. And the, the, the sins would always be on the priest's mind, his conscience, always before him. Now the Jewish encyclopedia says of a mitra that it is symbolically um, the mitra and the rest of the priest's vesture like the sacrifices represented certain sins to be forgiven. So I asked them, whose sins are you forgiven? Okay, Yeshua is now a high priest. He was the ultimate sacrifice and there's no need for sacerdotal functions today. So I don't think that there's any need for the priestly garments. That's why the curtain was rent in the temple. There's no need for the priest to, to bear the sins of the people, nor to keep other people's sins in the forefront of their minds. You know, that's all some real Catholic stuff right there, some real pagan stuff, man. I mean, I, I can't understand why I, I can't get a straight answer from these brethren. I was told that if the head covering bothers me, then turn off the screen and just listen to the word, and that the Most High knows why. Now, is this what a true teacher of the, of the word would do? A student asks a viable question, and you tell him in so many words to go sit your ass down somewhere. Don't worry about what and why I do something. Just get the word. How in the hell am I supposed to believe anything that comes out of the person's mouth like this when, when they're disobedient to the most simplest instruction given by Paul to the church at Corinth? And that is, if a man covers his head while speaking publicly, he dishonoreth it, so don't do it. So why should I believe that the Most High is inspiring these people when they're not even following his word? Even Paul said the church didn't have any customs, so why do it? And these were questions that I asked, and they went unanswered. So let's find out who wears mitras today. The Catholic priests, 
the Anglican Communion, Communion Church, the Lutheran churches, uh, bishops and clergy in the Ethan, Eastern Orthodox churches, Eastern Catholic churches, and the Oriental Orthodox churches, which are all pagan Babylonian uh, religious orders. Just things that make you go, hmm. All right? So I still didn't receive an answer. This made me angry and prompted me to do some research on the crown of the head since these brothers kept, kept insisting that their crown was not covered. Here's what I found out about the crown in pagan occultist beliefs. The crown is at the very top of the body. As the base chakra, it connects us to Mother Earth. The crown chakra connects us to the heavens, to the stars, and beyond. Maybe that's why people are always talking about uh, they delve into the mysteries of the universe. Hmm. The sky and all the power and wisdom that, brain, that belongs to our higher mind. This chakra is truly an amazing and life force energy channel for healing and spiritual awakening. This center is connected to your higher mind. Your higher mind is the part of you that knows all of the answers. Does that sound familiar? There are two major colors that you can use with this chakra. One is purple, the other is white. White represents all the colors combined together. So all the energies that exist with all the colors flow and vibrate a powerful healing frequency through this chakra. White is divine, pure, honest, and new. So now I have to ask myself, since I can't get any answers, is this why they keep their crown exposed? Because they're connected to some entity in the heavens? In the universe, in the stratosphere, the atmosphere? Is this why they seem to know the answers to everything? You know, they don't have to ever look nothing up. They don't have to, I'll get back to you, brother, because they've accessed their higher mind. Is this why they wear white turbans instead of any other color turbans? I mean, no one would answer my question. And since it's already anatomically proven that the crown is a part of the entire skull structure, and since Paul ensured that everyone understood that a man should not cover his head, then a person has to conduct his own empirical research to discover the truth for himself on the rise, since people just won't answer a simple question. If a person has a logical and a scriptural reason for doing something that appears unscriptural, then they have some explaining to do. If they want serious-minded students of the word to take them serious, why throw it off saying the Most High knows? So now the Most High is contradicting Paul's writings? So now the Most High is giving you the authority to disobey his instructions? So now we're on some David Koresh or Jim Jones BS that a lay person can't ask a man of God why he's doing certain things? We're on some... You do as you're told and don't worry about why I, the anointed of the Most High, does certain things type of crap. I could care less how a person expounds on the scriptures, seems to break down the mysteries of prophecy, seems to never have to look up an answer or get back to you because they know everything. They can quote scriptures like an automaton. A true man of God would not offend in the scriptures or even give the appearance to. A true man of God would not wrestle with or add to or make the work fit what he wants to do. A true man of God would not continue to do something that throws off the brethren. A true man of God would not be so arrogant, dismissive, patronizing, and condescending explaining their, um, in reference to explaining their actions. You know, when I looked up crown, it's like a crown is a position of authority. You know? I mean, so I asked them, I said, if you're trying to say that you're a high priest so that you feel that you're priestly or kingly, why not say so? I don't get an answer back, you know? So, I mean, I'm not out here to try to start no problems. I'm a brother with an honest question that can't get a straight answer for nobody, all right? And I'm hoping that there's somebody out there that can give me a scriptural explanation and reference as to why Israelite brothers feel a need to wear a mitri today. You know, I ain't trying to start no crap. I'm not trying to be an enemy with no one. I want an answer to my question. And I, it, it started to, to bug me out as to why these brethren won't answer the question. As to why they're making it seem like it's just between them and the Most High. That, that's not even scriptural. Somebody please answer me. Please let me know why Israelite brothers today feel a need to wear a, a, a crown, a tiara, a turban, a meter, whatever you want to call it. I just want to know why they feel the need to do it today. Thank you.